So we're in the last few days of our visit to uh, Baravelia Santa Catarina and we found this awesome motorhome place and they've done a little bit of work for us already. We brought the combi back to them to refurbish the entire kitchen for us. They're adding a fridge, they're adding a sink, they're adding a gas stove and a cooktop for us, uh, and uh, adding interior LED lights, etc. And everything ties into the, the solar panel that we had installed. So by the time we're done here in a few days, uh, the combi and us will really be off-grid ready. We can cook. Uh, and, and be off grid for weeks at a time if we want. We've got a 50 gallon or 50 liter tank of water on board as, as well, which is underneath our bed. So, literally, we have everything to be uh, gone from civilization if that's what Elsie and I decide to do. You know, just like anywhere else in the world, Uber is available here in small town Brazil as well. So, we're about to catch a ride, right, Elsie? About yes. to carry on shopping. É a primeira vez que nós estamos utilizando Uber no Brasil, porque a nossa Kombi está na oficina consertando, fazendo o, colocando os armários, mudando o interior. Vamos ver como que vai ser. So Elsie and I are having an argument. Let me show you how bad the argument is. It's really bad. But basically, we're having a disagreement about something on our combi. She wants sheets on the bed that on the sofa that becomes a bed. She wants sheets, which, in our experience, by the time we wake up in the morning, the sheets have become like a, a ball. They just don't stay in place. And I've seen plenty of photographs of combis where <laughs> where they have thick, almost like a carpet variety. Uh, blanket, if you will. In India, we call it kadar. Kadar. It's pretty thick. And we call kapa. Kapa. It stays in place, right? I think in Brazil they make this in uh, in Sierra, right? That kind of place. I think you. But anyway, my idea is to get a colorful kapa, put it there, and sleep on top of that. And then all we need is a thick sheet for a blanket, two pillows. And that's it. We don't need to fool around with sheets that that gather up in the middle of the night because after all, this is a combi. This is not a house. So we've been in Brazil for six months and this is the first time that we're taking an Uber because our combi is at the motorhome place getting fixed up. Uh, and we're taking an Uber right now from Baravelha back to Peña. But uh, Elsie's going to do some shopping. We're going to grab some lunch. Right, Elsie? And then we'll be closer to... Uh, Bell and Renato's house, Elsie's son and daughter-in-law, and we'll probably go there for an afternoon nap after lunch. You know, so I'm back at the motorhome place, and uh, Marcos has just completed the the combi, pretty much. I'm waiting for about 15 minutes, and it should be done. But let me show you what it looks like. It really looks awesome. Uh, Elsie's not with me today because it's a Saturday, and she's a Seventh-day Adventist, so she's at home because Adventists don't do any business on Saturday. So here I'm uh, by myself, but take a look. I mean, this looks like a totally different combi. It's not the same combi. Look at that. They've got LED lights up there, which are also over there. I don't know where the switch is, but uh, you got LED lights there. You got LED lights here. You got LED lights here at the bottom. Take a look at that. You've got a fridge, you've got a sink, and more storage than Elsie wanted. I mean, this looks like a, a shiki shiki combi, <laughs> right? I'm so happy. These guys are awesome. So if you guys need any work done uh, on a motorhome, this is uh, Top Motorhomes in Baravelha, Santa Catarina, and this is Marco. Somos uma empresa de fabricação de motorhomes, combi-homes, food trucks. Estamos estabelecidos em Barra Velha, Santa Catarina. E estamos à disposição para fazer o seu projeto. Você escolhe o seu projeto. Nós estamos aqui para ajudá-los a realizar o seu sonho. And here comes Elsie, looking at the combi for the very first time.
Elsie and I are both sticklers for cleanliness and Elsie's not happy that they didn't completely clean up the sawdust which she's in the process of doing right now. But hey, you've got to make a few sacrifices, right? Elsie wants to do some shopping and there's no Joann's or Michael's around here so this store is the uh, Baravelia or Peña actually version of Joann's. Let me show you. So Elsie is making some coverings that will go over the side doors, the sliding door as well of the combi. Currently we've got like a grey looking fabric that doesn't look so exciting but she and I are both very creative and it would be so much more interesting to have like a patchwork of fabric that she's in the process of make making using different different designs. I can't wait to show you what the end product will look like. So Elsie what do you think? Now that the combi is going to be almost fixed up, we're going to have everything in there from a fridge to a sink. The solar panels already there. We're gonna have uh, LED lights. The only so the only thing we're not gonna have pretty much is a bathtub. But other than that, we've got everything in there to live. Uh, you think we're ready to live full time in the combi for let's say a year or so and travel all over Brazil? Um, what do you think? The good thing is if we if we regret, we have options. That is true, right? At least now we right. do. We don't know later, but now we still have. It. All right. So, what's the worst thing that can happen if we were to jump into that lifestyle full time? What do you mean? I mean we can always quit any time, right? Yes. We can go rent a house pretty much any time, right? Are you scared about that? No. I did no, right? No. Maybe I'm scared. <laughs> As this episode comes to an end, I'd like to say something. What I don't want to do is live amongst other foreigners who have come here from America, Canada, Europe, etc. I've come to beautiful Brazil to soak in your beautiful culture, learn your habits and romantic language. Having been to 27 different countries in my life and having lived in five of them, I've seen way too many communities of foreigners living abroad who prefer to live together, usually to speak their native language. And sooner or later they try to change the local culture to become another mini USA or whatever country they have come from. For the most part they avoid local culture, language, etc. and within a decade or two they've created a replica of the country that they wanted to leave to begin with. Just take a look at countries like Costa Rica, Panama and parts of Mexico as prime examples. No, that's not our plan. I've come to Brazil with my amazing wife to live amongst Brazilians and to soak in your culture. To live amongst you, learn your habits, learn your romantic language, dance to your melodious music and learn to appreciate Brazilian love songs. If you're a Brazilian watching this, I want to say something specifically to you. Do you realize how blessed you are to have been born in a country that is the closest thing to paradise on earth? Do you? Do you realize that? If you don't, let me once again remind you, Brazil is paradise on earth. <laughs>